Good evening. I'm Shinta Rizmi from Kobe University. My presentation is about uh, wireless remote heart sensing and AF detection using Doppler radar. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, my main target of this work is atrial fibrillation (AF). Now, AF is a common cardiac cardiac arrhythmia, and uh, it is presented in about two percent of all people. And AF is uh, also a risk factor of cognitive decline, MCI, and uh, the amount as shown in this, this figure. And generally, the ECG electrocardiogram is used for AF detection. ECG is a body surface potential caused by the uh, electrical activity of the heart. And in case of AF, the ECG shows particular patterns, uh, such as irregular rhythm, uh, no P wave, and uh, fibrillatory F, F waves. And uh, however, uh, also actually it is well known and widely used in clinical views. However, the ECG has this advantage because uh, that requires direct skin contact of electrodes. It is a major problem to realize long-term measurements, especially in, in a home. And uh, so to, over to overcome this issue, we try to detect AF by using a microwave Doppler sensor. And this sensor uses Doppler effect, Doppler effect to detect heartbeat. The transmission wave is uh, reflected by the human body. And then its frequency is shifted by the Doppler, uh, Doppler effect. This shift, uh, this shift is caused by the vibration of the body surface caused by the heart rate. So the reflected wave contains uh, heart rate components. However, uh, this, method, this method is very sensitive to uh, noises, such as body motion or any other environmental, environmental noises. And we developed a prototype system for portable, portable, uh, portable devices to using the Doppler sensor for wireless monitoring. And this sensor is used in a hospital. So Doppler wave is amplified and transmitted to the gateway, such as PC or smartphone by using Bluetooth, Bluetooth LA. Okay. okay, this movie is a demonstration of heartbeat monitoring with a prototype device PC. Okay. <laughs> the heartbeat component clearly monitored when it is at resting, but uh, when breathing, the respiratory component is dominant because breathing causes a large chest movement compared with the heart. Okay. And the next. Uh, this graph, this graph shows details about the heartbeat components uh, measured by the Doppler sensor. In the previous movie, the heartbeat component was mainly visible in the low frequency range, uh, less, than five, less than five hertz. However, uh, it also has large breathing signal. Uh, so on the other hand, in the high frequency range, less than, uh, larger, than five, larger than 10 hertz, uh, it has more clear pattern of system, system or uh, diastole feature. Okay, the right side graphs 
compares the high frequency components of the Doppler wave with uh, other bycatch sensors. And all sensors are measured simultaneously in this measure. As I mentioned previous slide, uh, in the previous slide, ECG is the body surface potential. It's caused by the electrical activity of the heart. And uh, the first wave, uh, it is a uh, contact PPG is measured at the finger. And here, uh, SCG is uh, acceleration at the chest body surface. So, because the Doppler wave, uh, Doppler, Doppler sensor shows the velocity of the chest surface. So, both, both SCG and Doppler indicates the displacement of the body surface, uh, chest surface. So, and, okay, here uh, in this work, our question is can Doppler sensor detect AF? So, actually, ECG can detect AF, it is well known. And a prior work, uh, reference number five, reported that AF can be detected by, the, by using SCG uh, acceleration of the heart body surface, uh, chest surface. And therefore, uh, we think the Doppler sensor can detect AF because both SCG and Doppler measure the body surface displacement. Also, the SCG measures acceleration and the Doppler measures the uh, velocity of the body surface. But both of them measure the body surface uh, displacement. Okay. And next, uh, to evaluate the AF detection performance, we measured 10 AF patients and 10 healthy subjects in the same condition. Also, the previous demonstration is conducted with sitting position, but uh, this measurement is conducted with supine position to measure the, measure the AF patients. And the sensor distance is uh, 50 centimeter warning. Here is, uh, this slide shows a measured example of AF patients. And this, uh, the AF characteristics may be included both in the Doppler wave and the ECG wave. This ECG wave shows a, uh, irregular interval and uh, no P wave pattern. And this ECG shows a clear F wave patterns in the baseline. So, but uh, I think it may be included in the top, also may included in the top problem, but it's not clear. So finally, we adapt um, machine learning approach to classify the AF patient and the normal waves. In this work, we used CVAE, conditional variational autoencoder. The original VAE compresses the input signal to the latent variable. And uh, this network runs to recover, uh, reconstruct the input wave from the latent variable. In other words, this network uh, compresses the input Doppler wave to the feature vector. So, and then uh, conditional VAE can use a label for patient or not. This label is used to bias the distribution of the latent variable, uh, latent, latent space. So the label is only provided, only used in the training phase and in the inference phase, only using this network, only using the top route. And this slide shows the result of reborn out cross variation test. In this, in, in this graph, it's uh, red and green dots are latent values obtained by the training phase with uh, 19 subjects and F patients in the, in the training phase. And 
the blue dots represent data from healthy subjects who are not uh, used in the training. And the yellow dots from a patient are also not used in the uh, training phase. So in these cases, almost data was separated in the right hand space in the training. Uh, yeah, sorry, in the inference phase. And this rib, uh, this rib one out cross variation is also conducted with all uh, 20 subjects. And uh, I think almost sufficient accuracy was achieved with all data. Okay. okay, this is conclusion of my talk. Uh, thank you for your kind attention.